Sup Home Skillets. Uh, this video I'm going to give you a brief overview of how I've set my kitchen up to do my live streams. So to kick it right off, there's a, it's a three camera setup. So we have a Sony ZV-1, a uh, Logitech C90 something webcam, and then an old iPhone here. So the bulk of my streams take place here. Generally the main scene is just facing down like this. So I use the ZV-1 for that footage. I didn't always have this. In fact, this is quite a recent addition to my setup, but I have done the bulk of my streaming just using this iPhone 11. That the, the camera here has a software streaming uh, setting. I don't run it to a capture card. It literally just runs via USB down the hall into my study and into the computer that's running OBS. Here is the, the Logitech webcam. That's my face camera. There, that's also connected via USB. Uh, along with that, we have two <laughs> dodgy uh, Amazon USB LED lamps. They're about, you know, $10, $10 a piece. Uh, because before getting them, I, I just didn't have enough downlight here to light up the scene properly. So on the left here, I have an old uh, laptop. And this is what I use to keep track of chat and Discord if I need to Google something or check recipes or whatever, so I don't stream into this. Uh, my OBS instance is on my uh, my gaming PC in my study, but this is a, a, a very handy location to have a laptop. I can keep an eye on what's happening in the stream and check things if I need to. And then over here uh, is the third camera. Most people have old mobile phones. If you take one of those out, power it up, and then connect it through Video Ninja. That will allow you to turn your phone's camera into a webcam, and that feeds as a browser source into OBS. And so all of a sudden, I have my uh, top-down stovetop cam for no dollars. Do consider using Video Ninja. It used to be called OBS Ninja. That's doing it all wirelessly. Uh, the other main component to everything that you've seen here is my, um, I guess you'd say control center. So this is an old iPad that is running Touch Portal. Touch Portal is an app that uh, basically functions like a software stream deck, like the Elgato stream decks or whatever, but it is entirely customizable, really, really flexible platform. You can get it for free. There's a, the free version for $12 and it unlocks um, everything. So very quickly, the, the basic idea is, um, you see I've got my scene set up here, so bench top, hitting that basically takes, gives this camera and this camera my main scene setup. And then the other main scene is stove top scene. So when I'm finished doing something here and I'm moving to the stove top, as I walk over here, I just hit stovetop and then that changes the camera in OBS to my stovetop. And so that when I come back, I just hit bench top, bam, and it all changes uh, back here. And then also I have my, uh, you know, obviously my BRB screen and uh, a few other things. So the, um, in my streams, what I try and do is indicate to my viewers, especially the new viewers or people that have just shown up for the first time, where we are in the stream. At the bottom of my stream, there is a uh, progress bar, basically, that shows people, that fills up slowly as I'm preparing, then I'm cooking, serving and finishing, obviously, and uh, it fills itself up as I go. Uh, yeah, obviously I can set go live, so that turns OBS, sets it to streaming, and then the end button um, stops the stream. And then a few other things, oh yeah, like a button to run a Twitch ad, and then a few other controls um, that kind of mimic uh, some channel point redemption. It's important to know that I, I had all of these lights uh, before I started streaming, because <laughs> uh, this would be really quite expensive to set up if you were going to do it just for your stream. But basically what I have here is uh, these are all Philips Hue and uh, there's a, a range of channel point redemptions that trigger um, light show effects. So that's the basic overview of how I've set this up. I'm constantly tweaking things so I just thought I'd show you the broad setup um, so that if you are considering doing something like this you get an idea of 
what it takes. Thanks for your time and have a good day.